Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to a Dragon Quest VII. Let's go ahead and stay at the inn. Actually, let's talk to our companions first. It was rude of that old man to leave without even telling us his name. It seems a little overboard, don't you think? Strangely enough, though, I feel like we've met him somewhere before. Everyone's busy cleaning up. Alright. Can I have your room? I would like to stay for the night. Why, thank you. <clears throat> good morning, have a good day. Thank you. All right, let's head back to the other towns. See how they're going, getting their cleaning up. Wait, are you the ones who rid us of the sea monsters? Uh, yep. Yeah. Is that right? I always wanted to tell you how thankful we are. The village is still kind of a mess, but please make yourself at home. You're always welcome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of cleaning right now. It'll take a while to open my shop. Please come back later. Look at all this. All my weapons and armor got soaked by salt water. We'll have to oil every last one of them. If you hadn't come to rescue us, we'd probably still be quaking with fear inside that tower. I'm grateful to that musician, too, but you are you and your companions are the true saviors of this continent, Ald. I cannot thank you enough. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Hey, it pains me to have to say this, but to the one who saved my life, but I cannot offer you a bed, Ald. I don't imagine you'd want to spend the night in a bed soaked through with seawater. So for today, I must ask you to leave. Uh, what if I don't want to leave? Get out! For some reason, the bar in the basement has opened. A drunk person's mentality is never justifiable. Let's see how it's going. <laughs> Salt water drinks aren't so bad after all. I thought that I was hanging out at the bar so much just because I couldn't fish and had nothing to do. But it turned out that I had the makings of a hardcore drinker. <laughs> oh my lord. As you can see, the bar is still wet from the flood. The shop was not... Not ready to be reopened, but some customers forced me. Oh. Hmm. I don't know how they forced you. You're boozing your life! Father wants me to follow his path in life, but I don't think that fishing suits me. I really want to go to Himalia and become a poet, but I just don't have the confidence. Just do it, sir. Normally, the whole village would hold a feast of appreciation for you. Please forgive us. The whole village is facing a real crisis right now. I imagine so. All your food must be soaked. It is amazing to realize that all of the villagers survived. Not only the village, but most of the continent was submerged under the sea. Our survival is thanks to you and the musician. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Glad to help. Dear God, I thank you for sending the sending your messengers to this land. Uh, uh, I'm good. Hey, kiddo. I am the great sea demon Gracos. Ha ha ha! Woof woof woof. What? The musician left already? I didn't even learn his name. La la la. I just can't get this tune out of my head. But I suppose that's how it is. We've all been infected by this little melody. <laughs> my precious bottle of wine was smashed. <laughs> wine of that caliber is hard to come by. <laughs> it is very expensive. I guess I should just be grateful that my house is alright. And that I wasn't hurt. But still, my precious wine... <laughs> 
Ah, it probably had already turned into vinegar anyway. I thought my fishing net had been lost at sea, but I found it. I was devastated when it happened. A fisherman's life isn't worth living without a net. The sea has once more become peaceful. It's hard to imagine that it was so disturbed before. All this has happened because Gracos was defeated. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm kind of curious why, like, this water was removed, but this water wasn't. <laughs> ah, well. It's just a silly thing. Ever since you defeated Gracos, the waters have calmed. That means we can start fishing again. We're already preparing the boats. Ah, it's you again. I'm glad you all managed to return safely. I heard that you defeated the ruler of the sea. The sea monsters in that lost city under the waves. How'd you even manage to get there? I'm very impressed. Um, magic? Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Ah, uh, you guys don't have any treasures for me. I'm, I'm sad. What treasures? How about you guys? Still hard for me to believe that you're the heroes who defeated the monsters. Anyway, I have something to ask. You visited the city beneath the sea, right? I was wondering how in the world you got to the bottom of the sea. So a whirlpool mysteriously appeared. You dove in and came out there? I don't understand it. Maybe God is aiding you in your quest. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what happened to this guy. There did not seem... Well, actually, there also weren't enough uh, nuns, either. There should have been two. Oh, well. I want the treasures. Oh, you must be the heroes. Please feel free to enter Avon. Please stop by the chieftain's house before you leave the village. The story of old will be passed down and made into legends throughout this land. It is no small feat to defeat the legendary Gracos. We will be forever grateful and indebted to you. We were able to defeat such a strong monster. You don't look that powerful. I guess I shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I was looking at that tower in the mountains from afar. Whenever I recall going in there, I feel a bit strange. It's an odd tower, that's for sure. Hooray, it's a puddle, a puddle! You'd better introduce yourselves to the chieftain before you leave. Saltwater fish are swimming in the pond. Seems bad for the fish. Welcome, mighty slayers of Gracos. I give you thanks, not only from me, uh, but on behalf of everyone who lives upon this continent. As a reward, please go to the locked room on the way to the tunnel. I unlocked it for you. Please, take what is held there. The treasure is yours. Sweet. When that old musician spent the night here, I noticed something. I caught a glimpse of a strange birthmark on his chest. Hey, what are you implying? It was an accident. Anyhow, it seemed to be a symbol of com some kind. Yep, that was Jan. The old musician said his name was Jan. That sounds far too ordinary for a man so mysterious. Well, it's nice to have gotten the confirmation. Well, doubly so, really. Phew, cleaning this up is quite a chore. Gracos is so annoying. Well, the good news is that Gracos is dead. We'll never bother anyone ever again. I see the old musician has already left. I wish I could hear him play one more time. I just want to go to him and say, play it again, Sam. <laughs> Although technically that's not the line, but you know what I mean. I think it's just play it, Sam. Something like that. No, been there already. 
It's weird that this one changes the uh, camera orientation. All of my wares were soaked and damaged. I've got to shut my store down for a while. Um, do, do you want me to take that one now off your hands? I'll take that one off your hands. No, you don't, you don't want me to. I've already heard about you from the chieftain. Please pass through. Thank you. Sweet. I'll check the treasure chest. Watch you found the pirate outfit. You put the pirate outfit in your bag. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be called. I'll check the treasure chest. Watch you found the berserker heart. You put the berserker heart in your bag. So, did I use up my one or do I have another one now? Or do I have two now? I think I have two. Yep. Yep. Ah, that's okay. Not as good, and neither of you can equip it. Alright. Items in my bag were rearranged. Alright, well, let's head back to the present. And see what free in this land has done. Whee! Flying through time again. I should probably go grind out bomb crag. Uh, no, I got a few more encounters. I got a few more encounters. Before we get to the next island. Actually, let's go check the uh, main map room. See how that's coming along. We see where this land was. What did it look like again? <laughs> I'm not immediately recognizing it. Ah, it's right up here. So we know where that one goes. Have we checked all of these? Right, that's over by Dune. I think we did check that. Alright. Uh, Dune might actually be uh, close by. Yeah, it kind of is, although... Hmm. I think I'll still go to... Uh... I'll go to Fishbell. We gotta sail to all these places uh, in order to get them on our return list anyway. There are some shoals out here, though. Let's not go in there yet. gone? It was around there, wasn't it? Huzu's gone. There's no Huzu in the present. Oh, 
I've heard of a mysterious city that has been lost under the waves. Rumor has it that it's located south of this continent, and that sometimes a giant whirlpool manifests itself right next to it. Uzu and Avon are gone. I'm kind of sad. This temple was a resting place at one time for people traveling between Huzu and Avon. But few people visit since the villages died out, and this temple is becoming more and more de desolate. And so I'd like to go somewhere that I can be of greater help to people. But unfortunately, I know so little of the world. Is there some place that, could, that would accept my assistance? Uh, I will mention the town Old Man Sim is trying to build. Wow, you are so worldly. I had never heard of such a place. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I think she might be the permanent one. Yeah, she is. Crap. Alright, I'm gonna have to reload. Uh, not right now, though. Actually, let's see. Yeah, I can go back here. That's, it's not so far. So yeah, so she's one of the permanent people. She'll always be there until you recruit her, and uh, you can't get rid of her. The reason why I don't want to take her is that it alters the chances of getting more of the priest types at the random uh, generation. I was like, that conversation is way too specific. <laughs> So yeah, I do not want to do that. All right. Uh, you want to get those people last, essentially, in any group of, um, you know, if you need those types of people, you want to get them absolutely last, so you've gotten all of the others, so that you have the highest chance of getting those character types. Uh, let's go to a fish bell again. And we will sail back. So the uh, the audio glitch is actually working out in my favor a little bit. On that front, at least. Oh, hi, monsters. Rushfish, starfish, and a sea lipsy. Rain Slash, and just fight the Starfish. Well. Little easy. 35 points of XP at 20 gold. Not sure if there's a level cap out here in the sea. So I'm not going to talk to Sarah. I will talk to you. Break that, find nothing. Talk to the priest, just in case there is something that he does. How unusual to see travelers here. Do you have business with God? Uh, no, we don't. There's a bridge up there now. Welcome to the town of Hemalia. This is a town of both the legendary Great Flood and the Bard. This town appears to be just as odd as always. Whenever I come to this town, I rem I'm reminded of that old Bard. Yeah, let's see what you have for sale. Uh, nothing special. This is a weapon shop. May I help you? What will you buy? Uh, so you got the mace, you got shears, battle axe, uh, flame claw, dragon whip, hacksaw, loon fan. I 
think that hits a group. Let me see. Where are the fans? There they are. Um... No, it doesn't. Uh, the Sun fan does. Still, it's a upgrade in damage. Just put it in... Nope. Just put it in the bag for now. Welcome to the armor store. How can I help you? What would you like? Uh, so that's pirate outfit. We already have Viking silver armor, skirt, platinum shield, captain's hat, and a Viking helmet. Nothing special. Nothing that we need to get. Welcome, travelers. Have you seen the statue of the Messenger of God yet? Uh, no. That's not good. Look for a statue to, of a bard near the fountain. Okay. I seek nothing in your temple right now, sir. Thank you. Whoops. Sorry. Our famous Dr. Asmov and his assistant Beck live in the house over there. I heard that the good doctor is currently researching the legends of this town. Oh. I bet this is his house. I'll check the bookshelf. There were no special books. Oh. No special books. What? You found the inseed. You put the inseed in your bag. There's a book entitled, uh, Unusual Tribes and Peoples. The people of Dune possess a unique culture. The Sphinx they have constructed is a glorious wonder. The Dacians are a nomadic tribe on a mission to revive God. Their civilization is notable for its excellent dancers and musicians. The halflings live underground. Although a separate species from humans, they may still intermarry. The Leifa tribe, a legendary sect of winged people, is fabled to have flown through the skies. Details, however, are scarce. Not sure why they went with halflings. Uh, I think they're dwarves in the other translations. I'll check the bookshelf. It is a book entitled The Diary of Colin the Adventurer. It has been half a year since I set off in search of the Middle King's castle, but still no luck. I often find myself going around in circles. Once I hurriedly changed course and... Wow, I found another tiny metal. What good fortune. Nothing useful. Boo. Darn, I can't seem to catch anything but minnows. What am I going to do for dinner? I mean, get enough minnows and eat them? All looked into the well. Nothing there. Stupid well. Dr. Asimov always teaches me new things. I heard that this statue was modeled after the legendary bard himself. Some people think it's just legend, but I believe that music has a mysterious power over people. I don't think the existence of a bard like that in the legend is out of the question. It is a statue of an elderly musician. Beck, it's pulling tight. Good luck. Yes, Doctor. Gimme, 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 gimme. Ah, shard! It looks old. What era is it from, I wonder? Ah, but we must focus our attention on fish right now. Good luck, Beck. Yes, Doctor. Oh, give me the give me the shard. Doctor Asimov, what do you think? Aha, the fish in this boat are the same kind as in the sea around here. Doctor, so this means That's right, Beck. This may be proof that the area around here was submerged by seawater at one point. So this means the legend of the Great Flood is true after all. 
However, we shouldn't jump to any conclusions, Beck. It's too early to make a final decision. At any rate, we have moved a step forward. Let's tackle the next research topic, shall we? Yes, Doctor. All right, we'll talk to you in a moment. There, there, there might be more things for me to loot first. Lately, I keep hearing a cat meowing whenever, whenever I fall asleep. My husband doesn't even seem to notice, but it scares me. That's probably below you. Hey, kitty, kitty. Interesting. Nothing useful. I'll check the bookshelf. A book entitled The Moon That Fell to the Sea. Uh, yeah, we've read this one already. Let's visit the inn. Welcome to our inn. One night is 45 gold. Would you like to stay? Nah, that's okay. Goodbye now. Please come again. All peered into the hanging sack, but there was nothing useful. I hear that vicious monsters live in a tower deep in the mountains to the north of this town. But it's not like anyone would actually want to go out there. That's the good news, I guess. Are there vicious monsters? We may have to check. Find out for sure. Deep in the mountains beyond this town stands a tower that was built long ago. They say that the tower is the one from the legend, but it's hard to believe. It's amazing how hundreds or dozens of years later, there's still a bottle here on this table. Smash it. Long ago, there were two other villages in this region besides Amelia. The populations of the villages of Avon and Huzu have been on the decline for some time, and now there's nothing left but dust. I'm Rahid. My family has been in the merchant trade for generations. As part of our training, we work in all sorts of different towns. And when we're ready, we open our own store somewhere. I'm getting ready to do that myself. Well, you mentioned the town old man Sim is trying to build? Sure. I'll describe Sim's town. Hey, that sounds great. Thanks for the tip. I think I'll go there. About the legend of this town, I heard that the two villages that disappeared also had similar legends. It's starting to make me think at, that the legend is actually a historical fact. Not to mention, it's more romantic to think of things that way. <laughs> Smashing the bottle into him prompts him to talk about the legend, apparently. Who would have guessed? This is my first time coming here. Uh, don't you find the idea of building on top of moats strange? I think it's interesting myself. There's a large city submerged under the sea to the southwest of this continent. I want to check it out, but I can't hold my breath that long. It's too deep. Well, that's why you just die, sir, and then you can explore it to your heart's content. Would you be interested in hearing the legend of our town of Amelia? Sure. The legend of the Flood and the Bard has been passed down through the generations. Long ago, a wandering bard strayed through town. The bard used a mysterious musical instrument to enchant the people of the town and lure them away. They awoke to find themselves held captive in a lookout tower. Fearful of what might happen to them, they decided to escape. Suddenly, a thunderous sound was heard, shaking the very foundation of the tower. The sound was that of a horrible flood that swallowed up the surrounding land. Many should have been lost during the disaster, but they were saved by virtue of the Bard's design. It was clear to the people that the Bard had been sent as an envoy of God. And that is the legend of Hamelia. I wouldn't put too much faith in it, though. There is little evidence that the Flood even happened. Treasure chest! I'll check the treasure chest. But the chest was empty. So empty, in fact. It screwed up my audio. Or it wasn't actually empty, it was filled with a sound glitch! All peered into the hanging sack, but there was nothing useful. What's this? You came in through the back door. If you want to buy something, you've got to go to the counter. Dr. Asimov is a total genius. In fact, the good doctor personally invented some of the items that we carry. 
I guess a fan. I don't think there was anything else new. The extent of Dr. Asimov's intellect is dubious at best. Supposedly, he wears something called a lore hat that imbues him with knowledge he would otherwise not have. I heard all about it from the, the assi professor's assistant, Beck. I want one. I want one game. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. We want it. Dr. Asimov is truly an amazing person. The other day, the doctor conducted an experiment involving two stones, one large and one small. He dropped them both from the same height at the same time. You would think the large stone hit the ground first, wouldn't you? No. Oh, you saw the experiment? Why didn't you say so sooner? Well, no need for me to tell you the outcome, then. Anyway, I was shocked by the result. No, it's, it's like common knowledge, sir. Yeah, I mean, unless you're stupid. Uh, are you calling me stupid? Yes, I am. Oh, uh, okay. The weather is nice today, so we can clearly see the old tower deep in the mountains. Fearsome monsters dwell within. Did you know that? Uh, I had heard that, yes. Actually, let's, uh... Hop out onto the balcony. There wasn't anyone out here, was there? No. There's no mayor in this town now. Alright. Uh, actually, before we talk to Asmov... It is about time to end the episode, but I think we'll do we'll talk to him before we end. But first, the most important thing. Dr. Asimov stores his lab equipment here. It's full of machinery that the average person couldn't begin to understand. Please leave at once. Has he like become the uh the mayor or something? How did he get control of the storehouse? On the other hand, I suppose there wasn't much to uh, put in there. Pardon me. Um, once I, you know, like, wasn't much use for it once I took everything that was in there. Meow. Uh, you want to come with me, Kitty? No? Alright, Kitty doesn't want to come with me. Happy to free Kitty. Take Kitty out of that uh, place. Dr. Asimov, fishing is a lot harder than I thought. Can I help you? I'm rather busy at the moment. What's that? You want that shard that we fished out of the, of the moat? Uh, yeah, I do. But would you mind stopping by my house later? There is a favor I'd like to ask him. Then I'll give you the shard. Dr. Asimov, isn't that the... But for the time being, we must go. I'll see you later. Just leaving the, uh... The rod here to Bob, huh? Okay, well, um... I guess we'll go talk to Dr. Asimov, but that's gonna happen next time. See what he wants. What do we need to do before he'll give us the precious, precious shard? Find out next time, everyone. See you then.